This is it, everyone. City of Light. The battle for control of Gotham intensifies. We need to be able to pitch and boost the members of a new scene of purpose. The Batman finds himself pushing them to the effort to restore order. It's time we play City of Light. And it's speaking of City of there are my Santa Terra commercials, and I'll pop a link to it to the video if you want to see my old commercials. Here we go. First, did you see this for a second? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna be narrating the last part of the story. This is it. City of Light. Reason on Batman the Telltale series. It's obvious that's why Shut Vicky up. hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham, Victoria, Arkham. Where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Penguin. Uh, psycho! Uh, no, you can do whatever you want to me. The Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. And Wayne Man was on burn. So now, here's the aftermath of the La of Guardian of Gotham. Um, as Harvey Dent is trying to stop Lady Arkham himself. But Batman has And now, just a reminder. This, well, this game series is best to the choices you make, the stories here by the how you play. This is the very last time. And the city was still reeling after five days ago when Carby then destroyed the city block and he was still at large. Large. And the city court. is still reeling News. from an explosion uh, Mayor uh, Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. And gone according on gunshot. And there's something Gun, Give up your badge and we'll oh. let you live. Meanwhile, his opponents up the are routinely yeah, silenced. He the it. latest he to speak there. out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Within hiding that, there's two, 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 Time's up. You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. Dead's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Dent is a maniac. Let me handle it. I don't want anyone else getting hurt. 
Well, and after then, this, Dent is the one who's gonna get hurt. And then there was gunfire. Come on, the commissioner's still down there. And Batman and oh. ran to the rescue! Sure, you're up for this. I have to be. Follow my lead. And you know how we we affect this thing. Just a little, little modification, and there. Lieutenant, Dent will pay for this. If you don't take him down, I'll tear him apart myself. Grogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got... Batman was surprised to be shot! And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows... Bruce Wayne has he to says, stop Harvey. He says... Cops show up. He'll kill another. Batman shows up. He'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of Sir, here. Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! And Batman grabbed Kelly! Kelly! Out of the Damn it! Oh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. And Jim was forced to go to the hospital to fight Batman, respectively. And so, at, outside of the Gotham City street, Batman brought into the... Okay. Alfred, are you safe? Yes. I'm barricaded in the back cave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. If anyone can reach him, it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's Batman. It's Why to the Batmobile? And confronted Harvey went to the Wayne Manor as Bruce Wayne. Yep. Harvey and I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. A fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just. I know I can make the city better. If only I could. Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. 
I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. And then, at Wayne Manor, Harvey was trying to kill everyone. Respectively, but the coin decides that Lucky, was but someone has to die. Just as he was about to kill volunteering, everyone. Deborah. Oh, everyone, Bruce Wayne came in. Harvey Wayne, about damn time. It was Harvey Bruce Wayne to the rescue, and there are Harvey's men everywhere. So, who's Connor and Alfred? Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. Why do you actually grow a backbone? Or did you just get tired of hiding? I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead! That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selena. This city needs to be purged of people like you. All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! Oh, and cops who don't take their mayor's oh. orders! Oh, this is the only way to clean up this cesspool! <laughs> oh boy. And Harvey killed a cop. Was about to kill a no, please! <laughs> this is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. And then Harvey. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Distracted. Go, get away. <laughs> I would let them all go, but it's not up to me. Oop! And Harvey so losing it all that I never. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start. <laughs> I swear Back I. Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on chance. <laughs> And if I didn't do it. You have always known right from wrong. I am begging you. And then Harvey didn't want to do it. And then she let there go. And she was. Oh like, God. What did I do? And then. The what? drone appeared. What did he make me do? And then the drone appeared. And then the drone appeared. Ow, bro. Oh. Stay back! Oh God, please don't. Harvey, no more. I'm just getting started. This is the only way to keep people in line. Otherwise, they walk all over you. Harvey, no! This is not who you are. You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. <laughs> Harvey was about to commit suicide. And here's the part. If you fail to grab Harvey's coin, you can remember when Harvey the way dies, I was before, and it's game over. For him. You see what hap watch what happened. And then if you fail to grab Bruce's coin, it's game over. And you have to try again. <laughs> like that. I want to try this time. You're gonna have to repeat. We were good friends once, Bruce. You didn't hear what I said. 
I'm glad Very you're nice here. Weird again. At the end. <gasps> Maybe you can remember me the way I was before. Before him. If you fail to grab Harvey's coin, then Harvey will shoot himself, and then Rudia, and it's game over for you. Boom. That's what happened. And you commit suicide. So let's try this time. We were good friends once, Bruce. Go commit suicide. I'm glad you're here. Right. At the end. Yes. Before Harvey was Maybe about you can remember me the way I coin. was before. Before him. Bruce Lee? <laughs> Bruce, I need I need the result. Bruce, I walk back. DROP THE DAMN COIN! Harvey yelled! Without the coin, I can't... I... I can't... And then he pocketed it. Make your own call. And Harvey gave up. <clears throat> Bruce! Please, I don't... I don't know what to... And he kneeled to the floor. I can't decide. Oh, it's too much. It's too much, I can't... <laughs> he gave up easily. <laughs> A safer Gotham, Harvey. <laughs> Just like you wanted. He was forced to give up and turn himself in. He could have stopped the Chill of Arkham somehow, but this time, Batman is gonna stop him. Him. And prevent the, the Chill of Arkham taking over. It's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. Done me and all of Gotham a favor. It's what I deserve. I still have hope for you, Harvey. You'll have the best doctors. Yeah. Sure, Bruce. They can't stop him. No one can stop him. And Harvey was taken away by the police. And Bruce looked at the card. And saw the same person that he tried to stop the Archon of Arca himself. And Mr. Wayne. I, I owe you so much. You're a hero. And then the Joe Arkham up and I'm gonna make sure to all of Gotham knows Bruce it. Bruce Wayne. You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. And he heard it, him. So Bruce went down to the Batcave and checked which order to computer. Your usual tea, and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. Bruce Wayne had a drink of tea. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce Wayne was surprised. He said, Bruce. Alfred sat down with him. These last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. But not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Bruce Wayne had to give those whom you hope. admire. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, it wasn't by choice. And me. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. 
wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. You're right, sir. And they got the children work. of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. But first, let's check the codex and the news. the children of Arkham Valley, but he was busted. This is John Doe. Check the Lady Arkham file first. Vicky Vale, mid 30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. And they check every Vicky Vale file related to Lady Arkham. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. And Shat. The children, the children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. And now they checked the Gazette. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. And they went back to the back computer and checked for Oswald. What was he up to? And they logged and then up. They Your checked. administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Who's been logged into Wayne Enterprises? And access was granted. 
Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? And then they checked. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. Security. Oswald was. Was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Yep, Falcone Island. And that, and they checked more on what was in. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. The Wayne Enterprises. Of course. Login. Oh, and the Oswald reports. certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. They had a few lots also explains to how return. the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. And, uh, Oswald you know, was using who money NASCAR to watched NASCAR today. They saw Denny Hamlin eating Kevin Harding, and then he lost. Oh, so sad. Let's check the and Bruce, anyway. Bruce Wayne and Alfred check the records. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. They checked. First, they checked Victoria Bales. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? And they checked all those records too. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Cambridge. Cambridge Calm down, Alfred. Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Former NASCAR driver for winning Swinger Nationals, Matt Kenson, from Wisconsin. And speaking of Wisconsin, a former Mr. Wisconsin was attacked by a producer. Do you want to see that? I'll pop a link to it if you want to see my article. Let's see. Oh. Oswald Check. manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some... Well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Oh, that's better. Okay. Whoops, sorry about that. That. And then they check the security. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. And they did. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. And they checked Vicky Bale's patient files. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. 
It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're onto something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And, they check the... and when she does, and then we'll they find heard something her. going on, on the map. Speaking of, is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes okay, on the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. They checked it. And Selena Carr was the culprit? She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Any chance? Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. And they find out the prototype she stole. Prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. Electronic. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from. And Selena. Bruce headed to to Selena. In his car. And on the street, Lena is in her motorcycle. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. Although... It only seems fair that I take something from you. You didn't give a second thought when you stole my claw. At least I had the decency to steal from you when you weren't in the next room. Serves me right for leaving you alone. Maybe I just wanted a memento. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham. But the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. A thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. And she didn't notice it. So, Simeon gave hit Ruth the key. By tossing it. Catch. And Bruce got it. And he saw it. Chat with Selena. I know you're just playing into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. As a mark, that is. Cat got your tongue? Luckily, the job's over now. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. 
Do something more meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some more. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? No, well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Ah, oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Come, just stop the show, Selina. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Because I love you, Selena. You... you barely know me. Bruce, if that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. See you around. Lucius, I've got the key. And then he was interrupted. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to... And the bomb came up! Alfred? Alfred! And Bruce went to the manor as soon as he could! Alfred! And when he got to the manor, he walked in and saw what happened. The manor was... Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Bruce Wayne sets up the crime scene to figure out what happened. Check furniture. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. What did they do to you, Alfred? Ash everywhere. How the hell... Like the broken locks. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Check for scuff mark. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? If he 
look at the broken shell. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. And there was a put the face. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. What's better? Two. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Yeah. It was time to set up and Bruce Wayne found out that someone was caught. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. And that was one scene saw. And then check the scuff mark. And see we he leaked the crime scene. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. And, and then check the fuck in your face. Fuck over. And you did the second minute. Alfred yeah. grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off Lady Arkham. <laughs> but she knocked it aside. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. And then Bruce didn't recognize something was on deck. He looked at it, the picture. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. And then he looked at it. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. And that photo contained Bruce's graduation photo. And Alfred was proud of him. So anyway, Bruce picked it up. Alfred. Check the back. Seize it. The Butler did it. Password reckoning. It was a note. You have no idea. And Bruce went down to the back cave and bumped it up. And at the back cave, he checked, looked it up. So, meeting her. Bruce Wayne. With Alfred. You should be rotting in a padded cell. Now, your butler. The man who raised you like his own son will suffer in your place. But don't worry, you'll get him back eventually. Peace, my bloody peace. Lucius Fox arrived in the back cave. Alfred. And he saw. Oh my God. Vicky will pay for this. I'll make sure of that. Look at what she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. He knows the bad computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. And then 
Okay, let's check the gong first. Whistling Mercy in a Midtown Residence by King Park. Yesterday afternoon, Gong Police discovered a person who was at the residence of John and Richard Bell. After receiving an honest tip, police responded to the Midtown Gong Residence where beaten and mortal of the about the bales were found. Police were shocked to find the bales' eight year old son unhurt hiding inside his home. According to Lee, the boy witnessed the killing of his parents. The boy remained into the custody of the child's services and is receiving his child care, but his future is uncertain. It doesn't support any massive police offense. And speaking of eight year old, if you want to see my R for Santa Terror intro, I'll pop a link to it. Check the codex. It's a little update. Okay. Mm -hmm. is gone. Lady and Rank are taken. How to get it back up? I cannot fail this, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then check the silly cat open. She went down my way forever. She appears over now. That was her mark all along and one more pull to walk blunt. Her from her to pull the one button. I thought it was time, but the damage is already done. If and if and we leave the end, go back we started. Enemies. Oh boy. If you shit the new friends, then let me know. And then Bruce Wayne, anyway, Bruce Wayne put on the cow VR. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Yep. And he checked the stairs. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. And he did. And that's the next signal. Boxes. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. There was a water heater. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. And then they check. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. And they checked the Mason, the Mason stamp. stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Yep. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. And then they saw a window. They checked the window. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. And they checked the map. They took the cow and they checked the map. They checked basements. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. They checked the building. Filtering for all homes built on that date. Check the bus stops. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. They check each neighborhood. A corner store. That seems unlikely. Bowling. Check this one. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. So these two three aren't a corner store or a bowling alley, but it's a home. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. And Lucius gave something. Well, 
Just in case she's expecting you. A big new bat suit! What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. And if your ticket's right, you get the prototype bat suit. But I've already used the part 2 bat suit since I felt the pain. And Batman gets the bat suit that was just made of. The part 2 bat suit! Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. And I may put on this suit. Yeah. This ends tonight. Went to the bear with it. Heading into the basement. Be careful. And then he made his move. And then he saw a button. Batman! I'm alright. And then he, when he walked downstairs, he found out no one was there. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. And Batman checked the crime scene. And the chair. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. And then checked the blood matter. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. And then check for more crime. More blood. Trail. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. It's Batman. And we look at the wall. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? And that wall was a false one. If you choose to press, if you choose to kick it, you just kick it hard. It'll be so But if you push it, you won't destroy it. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. And Batman pushed the wall. And saw part of it. There's a small room. A small room. And a with a hole in the floor. And then they check. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. I got a surprise for you. <laughs> right here. But it's gonna it's in its own form. If you hear the echo, I'm gonna place a meat here. I got a surprise. I'll play now I'm gonna play this video. And then just call out. Okay, took me several minutes to set up, and now, now time to do the tra single trap in my entire life. Alfred! This is loud. And Batman pulled the brake and went in through the hole. I'm going inside. Alfred. No, it's some kind of 
chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. Batman is in a torture chamber. Vicky, she was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? Vicky was just a child, and the veils locked her in the dark. Beat her. Revenge must seem like the only choice. Their own daughter! Yes. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. Alfred laid down here. Infinity Thor, Thor. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Yep. And then he checked for his glasses. And his lenses were broken. Alfred's glasses. And their glasses was cracked. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. Check the chalk. One piece apart from the others. Blue. Coincidence. Then he's turned on the cow scan. Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. And then he scans for another one. Fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? Then he connects to the drawing first. He left me a message using this chalk, but there must be more to it. And then they did. And then they found out that Lady Arkham was causing mayhem. Alfred, Alfred left me another clue. And out by Alfred. This is what he wanted me to find. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates. Like they're running away. The words highlighted are she will and liberate. She will liberate. I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. And Alfred Alfred's just along, along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. And headed to Arkham Asylum. Through the Batmobile. And at Arkham Asylum at 12:15 a.m. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. 
That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. And then the bug went to Lady Arkham. But little did he know that that someone was behind him. And then Batman took him. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is aggressive, but that won't save the butler or the rest of Gotham. A lesson needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen what the bales kept you. People like <laughs> them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong! Your time's I'm trying out. to pick it out there, but there you go. Inmates loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. And then he 
he used the taser to chase the bug. And then Dr. could take out the other bug. And his idea is... The table. And the plan of attack was initiated. And Batman set to work. See your work in person. And that I'm blessed to right to see John Doe here. And then the ad even tore back to check the back! Except with John Doe! And then the Batman! And the Batman criminal! Batman! Lady Arkham is a monster. We've got the inmates. Lock it Batman down! Ring and keep it Lady Arkham! Condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My Can pleasure. Anybody ever get black <laughs> Noise is going right over there. And Batman chased after. <laughs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wilson's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find them, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12 inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Then he saw. Game to me. And then falls the out of sound again. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So what's 
after they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. Batman here. Her you shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Walker? He hides behind a status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Wayne is. And he definitely. Wait a minute. I have an idea. If you walk over there, you'll get. You will both try to avoid him, and you'll get killed. But this time, I'm gonna step up and hold it. Wait. Wait for it. Boom! Like that. And then that will say, "Come out." Come out. There we go. That's what we need to do it. And the man heard everything. And then he saw Lady Arkham, Vicky Bale. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. I got you. And I once you're dead, Here's the story part. I'm going to mount Batman. that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Yeah. And then Lady Arco is attacked through the hole on top of it. And Batman is easily astonished. And then Batman chased after Lady Arco. Not now, Mom. Called it headed to the church. And Batman saw everything. Yeah. And Batman saw everything through Lady's comments. So, yeah, for Alfred, and then... Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... Yeah. You, you came... You came for me. Uh, after what you he said... Hurt, hurt. I you knew know. you'd come. The man... The man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? She just... Before Batman freed Alfred, Lady Arthur appeared! Above you! Interesting how you What's speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Concern I don't have for you. Huh. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Let's go! Batman, don't you? Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really choose to unmask. If that's what Batman unmask himself. No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man that means. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. If you would catch me, I'll be the one who I choose to break my ear. The defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. Stop blaming other people for your problems. You are the only one. And then Lady Arkham, you really think you can reach to me? Here. You, of all people, enough. Ah! Ah! No 
only truth left is in your death! Spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. This Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a presumably battle with the cage of Vigilante known only as the Batman. The time was renamed Vigilante Vale Morris Speedway. The end of children of Arkham State and the Private Harvick and the only all-star race. Dedicated to Mickey Bell and College Wonderful 600. Dedicated to Mickey Bell, along with the Mickey Bell Robo. Any word is Miss Kyle? From I don't expect I'll be hearing from her. Why and Gray? And then and late everything that's been going on in 20 this year. I have won the Oscar and then Martin Truex Jr. won the did. Mickey Bell 600. I'm sacrificing your identity for my safety. Of course, his check. Uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You would lose everything.
But the secrecy you have worked so hard to maintain. Gone. Maybe you took my secret to the grave. But, but you couldn't have known that, that would happen. No. Celebration against Carwish winning the Big Bill since 2018. I'll call and link to it. You're here? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me that it's character. <laughs> that, that it does. And Bruce looked at the new television and saw the news. We will get through this, Bruce. But don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You, you should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, Harvey. And they won't be the last to threaten Gotham. And they had Likely a malt. But, but you'll be ready. In the meantime, this is hope to sing peace. To, to peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen, but the experts agree that... But Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. The leaders, I like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let her know what you have planned to do with his future. This can be a first start. Maybe for you, and for this city. No, not Gotham, you're the only figure that may make as much impact as a Wayne. Is that bad man? You have helped this city tremendously, but both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone that I am proud of. And all my friend. And Bruce Wayne is set it up its back. It's a lot to live up to. I, I will be letting you down. I know you won't. So, so what, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, the just says he has to have been suit that led Bruce Wayne and Batman to the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage down to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a simple justice and strength. He may be in these dark times. That is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps someone is truly the mask. Was it who you truly believe you are? So Bruce Wayne headed to the GCPD as himself. What do you know? Bruce, Bruce Wayne will make, make quite the impression. What do you be grateful? Card. At the GCPD at 6 30 p.m. at their headquarters, Renee Matoida invited. Told Commissioner Gordon that Bruce Wayne was here, so she opened the door. Commissioner Gordon, he is here. Commissioner Gordon, that does that sound right? Well, don't worry, it will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What what uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. I cut myself shaving. What would you use? A chainsaw? Well, to be, be honest, I was surprised to get your call. After that nasty business at your manor, I don't know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. A public opinion is bound to swing around. But before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. Gotham does not like me, but I do hope they'll hear me out. I appreciate that. 
I was there hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention... It makes one hell of an impression on people. So, does this mean you don't trust that Batman? Uh, play by my rules? I don't know. But if I fight for this city? Oh, hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. And Commissioner Gordon made the announcement through the mind. During times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have a hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. I know in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. I'll talk back to follow. <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. Some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. And Bruce Wayne decided to apologize to the press. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. But my family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to be paid back. I, I plan to use my resources to improve the city and, and make the lives of its citizens better. And, and to that end. So, if you if you chose to go as Batman, then Batman would only assassinate you. But, it's the only choice. So, I chose to go as Bruce because I'm gonna improve something. So anyway, Bruce decided to to turn the rain, rename the Rain Metal Facility, Arkham Asylum! I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all of my resources then, to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It, it will be the most bus, advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the mission of its founders. Assassination attempt on his life. 